Hey everyone, today we're going to be starting the final episode or game in the Dark Pictures Anthology Season 1, which is Devil and Me. This will be my first time playing. You can see my playthroughs of the previous three Dark Pictures Anthology games as well as Until Dawn on this channel. My goal is to have three or more survivors, preferably more, but it's never happened yet. And until dawn, I had two survivors. In Man of Medan, I had zero. Very embarrassing. In Little Hope, I had three. And in the House of Ashes, I had just two. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys are going to enjoy this one. Let's hope for a good finale with lots of survivors. And I will see you guys in the comments. Enjoy. New story. Challenge. Okay. This is square. This is circle. And this is now X. And this is triangle. This is going to be fucked up. For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. Every choice has a consequence. Some decisions save lives. Others... lead to death. The Choose wheel wisely. is 264 feet, Jeff. Can you imagine it? I'm attempting 1893. to. I bet you can see for a hundred miles at the top. We should make that our first priority. Whatever pleases you the most. You please me the most. You Ooh, mean la, la. you're not weary of me after an entire day of marriage? I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> Snake oil ointment. Isn't this grand? As advertised, very nice. This is nice so far. Let's check in. <clears throat> Are we the only ones here? I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Ring the bell. Try again. Well, this does not bode well for the level of service we're in store for. Does not bode bode well at all are we excited or reassuring let's go to the fair later everyone must be busy elsewhere everyone must be busy elsewhere that's no way to run a business slow service that means they're making sure everything is perfect that's my marie always finding that silver lining my sincere apologies oh. for both startling you and for making you wait. Nice hat. My attention was needed elsewhere. I promise from here on out it will be nothing but silver linings. Now, what do you mean by that exactly? Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Please. Sign in here. First time in Chicago? I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. 
Oh, a honeymoon. How very, very lovely. <clears throat> Perhaps my wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to sign. <laughs> yes, today's the beginning of our honeymoon. Congratulations. So the... mm -hmm. In that case, an upgrade is in order. Yes, thank you. A honeymoon suite it is. Oh, thank you. Oh, well, uh, are the rates that much higher? <laughs> I guess I'll talk later. They just won't shut up. I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. How kind. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Every Henry character here Howard. is creeping Holmes. me out. You have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. You're an architect then? Architect, designer, builder, doctor, artist. I'm a man of many interests. Impressive. Please, have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. So the skeleton in the back looked like a, it didn't look like a um, anatomical like figure, like model. It looked like it was like kind of the teeth were all crooked. It looked a little bit jacked now, up. What did I forget to bring? I can only point at two things. Okay. What's this? Bath milk. Here we go again. Yup, yup, yup. You gotta practice that, girl. It's your honeymoon. Oh, great. We're messing with the bearings already. Let's see what we're what we got. Oh, Never mind. Pardon me, miss. I was too late. Look at it later. Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm. <laughs> He sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Wouldn't you like to know? Didn't you just get a ring, girl? All right, let me, let's see. Marie, uh, bearings. Let's see what we got here. Marie purchased the rose water. I didn't even, I don't even know what else there was there. I didn't know I was making a selection. Wonder what's in here. Rathlin Sweet. I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking for excitement? Perhaps. <sighs> what? Why are you going in there? Nothing but an unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel. I know you won't be denied. Wait, what's that? Oh god, this is how we killed what was his name, Nick?
Now, the two times I failed the heartbeat sequence was I, by me going too fast on the second beat. On one of the badumps. So, I just really need to focus this time around not go too fast i get nervous and then i, I start that was a thrill i go fast i think it's thrilling if we're sleeping on the street after getting kicked out of here Whew. let's go Welcome, newlyweds, wow. to the honeymoon suite. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Beautiful. Do enjoy your stay. If you'll excuse me, I have work to return to. Oh. I'm sure we'll see hey. each other again soon. I'm sure we will see each other again soon. <laughs> Goodness, this place is fit for a king. Or my queen. Oh, you. Kiss this. <laughs> that is not very wifely of you. Hey! Ah, bullseye! I love the, you like... You for it. The... Okay, yeah, get him right in the face. <laughs> the light coming in, like, there's Should so much sunlight. Me? The if window's so big. <laughs> Make sure it's the right X. <laughs> mercy, mercy. Okay, you win. Anything broken? Only my pride. Well, look at these cutie How about patooties. A peace offering? Hmm. This feels like some sort of treacherous plot. Not at all. I have a gift for you. Get your shoes off the bed, young lady. Close your eyes and face the mirror. Is it a necklace? Aren't you clever and romantic? If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. Is there a problem? No. She'll punch you so hard you'll kiss the moon. How does it go? Open I always get it wrong. Let's see what we did. Jeff gave Marie the necklace he purchased from the jewelry counter. Now, when did he do that? Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. I love it. Good. Victory is mine. I'll let you have that bath now. A camera? Isn't it like the 1800s? Did they have cameras like that back then? Wasn't it like 1893? Oh, a peephole. That makes more sense. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. And yeah, thank you, Psycho. It's Kid from Chrono Cross. I'll kick your sorry arse so hard you'll kiss the moons! <laughs> it's jammed shut. Maybe if we put a little weight into it? <sighs> Open sesame! <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you have a shave while I take a quick bath? Then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. <laughs> Shush. Shave. I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. Don't you worry. Jeff, settle into the hotel and find a shaving kit. Okay. It is a very nice hotel building. Oh. Better not. 
<laughs> back in the Rathlin swing. Wonder what was underneath that that cloth. Hmm. I could have sworn this was the way we came up. It's getting darker. Spikes. Oh my God. Marie! Okay, if they can equip the items they have in their inventory, press to equip an item. All right. And bath water it is. Yeah, little bubblies, little bubbly bear. Hmm. I'll be out in two hours. Is that you, darling? Jeff? Oh, are we playing another game? You could say that. Relax or investigate. Let's investigate. <laughs> okay, Mr. Sneaky. You can't sneak up on me, Mr. <gasps> Holmes. Hello, my What are dear. you doing in here? Jeff! I don't think he can quite hear you. She's... Ah! Get away from me! But I'm not finished yet. I said get... Ugh. Don't fight it. Will only hurt more if you do. <laughs> <laughs> We're only prolonging the inevitable. What? What are you? What have you done? Calm yourself, sir. We've seen your wife has had an accident. Oh, shit. Yeah, sorry. Nobody survives the prologue of a Dark Pictures anthology Is game. A problem, sir? not want to be slashed in the neck and bleed out like that. Marie! You're wasting your last chance to tell him that you love him. That's sick.
let's see what we got going on here. I have a lot of bearings already. Okay. Marie chose to investigate the noise. Marie uh, hit Holmes with the rose water vial. Jeff ran from Holmes, leaving Marie. And Marie bled to death. And Jeff was killed in the, gla in the gas room. Fun! Yeah, it's gonna be a fun game. A place for everything. Everything in its place. Well, look at this. Oh, it's wonderful. Only the best for you, my dear. Mother would simply die. It's so I say, opulent. Uh, good man, do you work here? Hello. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> this isn't gruesome. I should see more horror films. Uh, there's a reason that I don't. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Have you been waiting long? I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. I do enjoy I seeing a familiar I face. so love being here. Last time, no one survived. Well, that's I not... I wonder if you were even trying. Was the last one I played Man of Medan on, on the PS... It's uh, so good to have company. On my PlayStation? For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here watching over these tales and what good are stories without somebody to experience them but did this not is a story not everybody died in little hope and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure art can elicit mm. all sorts mm. of reactions delight inspiration desire yes but also doubt fear dread way you react the decisions you make would affect this story hidden in the world you'll find dark pictures they give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices and sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions you're responsible for what happens you're culpable I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obols. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Okay. Well, shall we start? The game is Let's a book. Start. I will be watching. Let's do this. My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on Ticket uh, 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 and, uh, and, yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. <laughs> I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I... Hey, I'm Mark. We're off to a great start. At UCLA. Um, at a great time. Really want to get back into some serious photography. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a job. I've been a key grip and lighting test for years. See a problem, light it. 
You don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like, personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonitz, UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track, it was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and, um, didn't quite, uh, uh hit the mark as I was hoping it would. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. Lovely. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, Your Honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover the ground with more cement, cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, mm. Herman Mudgett, AKA Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally, the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders, but as investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city, the number grew significantly. Nearly 200 lives. America's 200? first serial killer and possibly the worst. He was buried as requested under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? So, what do you think? To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. Rose petals. Lonnie, Delicious. Charles Gummy Lonnie, bears. Please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. <clears throat> Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh... I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m., be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes. Of course. We're in. I'll get them there. I promise. Let's do it. So I guess they're doing this documentary on the Holmes guy. He's the Mr. director. Send you. One girl's the we journalist. Where well, there was one right. girl do, doing Let's lighting, up, and I didn't catch the other two, but... Right, I got it. I'm good. One's probably the camera person. <laughs> Sorry. Are you? I mean, this is that ring light that makes it all glowy. We leave it behind. Oh, you're right. This is going to be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Road trip. Hello. Road trip. Hooray. This is going to be great, guys. Only the one guy is excited. So do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises? You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka? Exactly. 
Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault, because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property oh, a copycat? from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that Is may share information that can affect about my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do it. Fine. For the show. I'm telling you, this is gonna be great. I apologize in advance for any of you who are not getting out of here alive. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I'm gonna try my best. I'm, I want to do better than two this time. My record is three survivors. Let's see if we can match or top that, please. Due to Sir Rich, shouldn't he have servants or something? His guy gonna help? <clears throat> no, really, I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't oh, sweat it. <laughs> I was like, is he blind? <laughs> no, that's a tripod, not a not walking cane. <laughs> okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There. From on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. The, the visuals will be great and we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. <laughs> Mark, this is crazy. Oh, we'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. Okay, a little adventure. Shoot some footage from the top of the lighthouse. We are Charlie. Let's try to explore as much as we can. It's a very nice place. Kind of run down. This is taking too long. Approach the wall near the collapsed steps and press X to climb. Man, they... This place is all broken and busted. <coughs> Old man, pretty strong. Hey, guys, hurry up. We're on it. Oh, and he's pretty fast, too. Look at him go. It's a brisk run. Jesus, that is loud. It's meant to be heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but... Okay, let's oh, so see. So much for plan A. We must be able to work our way around. Come on. Anything for the shot, right? Warning, cliff erosion. These cliffs... Isn't it too serious? ...are the subject to erosion. And may collapse into deep water without warning. Nah, this sign is something the lawyers made them put up. I'm sure it's fine. Hard disagree. Look, 
Listen, Mark, I just wanted to say, um, thanks for backing me up, man. What? About getting this footage? No, for the whole trip. You know some of the crew can be challenging. To work with. Jamie and Kate would never have agreed to come if you hadn't been on board. I figured that the episode was such a mess, we needed all the help we could get. Right. Yeah. I guess we do. Well, surprisingly, so far, these first two characters that we're getting introduced to seem pretty likable. Like, I don't immediately hate them. <laughs> So that's okay. something. I won't lie. I was hoping being here all remote and away from the world that maybe I'd have some downtime, some space to decompress. Downtime? Why would you want to do that? You know, relax a bit. I've never seen the attraction. <laughs> okay. I'm really getting a, a feel of Charlie's uh, personality and it might be a little bit of a workaholic, a go-getter. Must in, have been quite a storm. In memory of the victims of the great storm of May 1st, 1907, in which 187 lives were lost, the crew and passengers of the SS Cassiopeia, or Cassiopeia, which crashed into the rocks at the base of these cliffs. Hmm. Okay, we might be finding some old wreckage at some point, maybe. Or maybe there will be ghosts haunting the area. Who knows? With these games, who knows, right? Press X to jump. Okay, we better get a running start. Get going. Ew. This just doesn't seem like a good idea. Okay, we have a lighter, and and then we can aim the light. With, with R, okay. Hey, when we wrap, I'd like to take a couple weeks off, go see my family. I need you in post. I really appreciate that discerning eye of yours. I've got a lot going on at the moment, Charlie. Oh, right, yeah, of course, sure. Take a couple of weeks. Yeah, together. I appreciate it. I'll be fine in post on my house. <laughs> you do the same. Take some time out. You got any family you can go and bother? Oh, I've never taken well. a day of vacation in my life. No, Mrs. Bonnet, you got hiding in some closet somewhere? I'm Married too busy to working. Married to the job. <laughs> How's that marriage working out? It's brilliant. Well, from what I hear about real marriages, pretty damn good. Well, you're talking to the wrong people, then. Oh, we got some balancing going on here? Oh, great. Okay. Not a fan of that. Christ, what the hell is that? A mannequin. You know, just hanging out. <sighs> Maybe it's part of some old museum display or something. Right. That's probably it. Fucker. Asshole. They always have one, like, jump scare in the very early parts of the game where it's like, you're not really into this, into the dangerous stuff yet. So you're really off guard. Because I remember that happened in House, House of Ashes too. Like, we were still chill. You know, everything was fine. And uh, 
Yeah. You coming? Yeah. Just looking at the light on the mist. How is that going to fit into the show? Just caught my eye. Coming. Always the photographer. I can't exactly turn it off. There's a lot of crossover between the creative stuff and the commercial stuff. Hmm. You sure about that? Because crossover with Kate hasn't exactly. We agreed to let that drop for the weekend. Just making sure your head's in the game. Ah, uh, Kate and this guy have a thing, maybe, huh? Lock tight. Come on. There must be another way. You sure? No. I'm optimistic. Okay, Charlie. You're a little bit too chipper for me at this point. <laughs> it's getting a bit much. Um, before I go through there, what's over here? This looks like it might be missable. Well, that also appears to be locked because there's a giant locked sign on it. In we go. Let's see. This thing hasn't been manned in ages. Why's the horn still going? Because they didn't decommission the fog. It's all automatic now. The fog? So 2000... Vacation time. So... Stopped. Haven't used it since 2000. What year is this game supposed to take place in? I forgot. I didn't uh, pay attention. Look at some of the names. Bill, Smithson, Patrick Wright, Wendy Earl, R. Pickman, Sophie Martin, Diego, Carl Brenton, a bunch of... I see some... Okay, yeah. I see some repeating names here. Did they tell us? Yeah, I think so. I think they say the time and the date every time you switch to another character. I'm guessing it's probably when the game came out, but I'm not sure. Who knows? Could be wrong. I guess we'll we'll find out soon. Read, please. Okay. I will read it. Four, ten, two thousand. Keep it up, team. This should be the final week. Last night's foghorn test was successful. Looks like the automation is all up and running. We'll do one final trial today, then we can pack away the kit. Okay, so what is the purpose? I'm sorry, this is a really dumb question. What is the purpose of a foghorn? Is it like a lighthouse, like to keep ships from crashing? But how would that, like, what is it? What is it for? A couple of you reported that homeless guy hanging around again. We're going to be bumping up secure, uh, securing the compound and conducting final checks today and tomorrow just to be on the safe side. Don't want anyone getting injured. Other than that, the work's been great all project. So let's keep up the pace and we'll be out of here. Oh. Oh, excuse me, by the end of the week. T.S. T.S. The only foghorn I know is foghorn leghorn. Let's see this again. T.S. would be... Uh, not somebody on this list. <laughs> There's no T.S. here. Oh, wait. Uh, supervisor initials. T.S. and K.W. So we don't know their full name, but... There were, it looks like there were two supervisors. T.S and KW 
back through the window that we came in. Okay. So, it's a lighthouse, but when there's fog. Oh, so if there's fog, they wouldn't be able to really see the lighthouse that well. Gotcha. Foghorns warn ships that there's a hazard nearby. When it's foggy, they can't see anything. Okay, thank you guys. I'm learning some things. I feel like I learn at least one thing every time I stream or every time I do like a reaction. There's always one thing that I learn. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Let's go through this little thing. Shimmy on through here. So Clamp, you said that Clay was playing a Dark Pictures Anthology uh, VR? Like, what is that? Is it of a... Is it um, uh, only for VR story? Is it, Or is it one of the stories that like I've played but turned into VR? If he's streaming it tonight, we could go raid him after this. That sounds fun. He was streaming it yesterday and it's its own game. Oh, okay. Interesting. I'll have to check it out. Check out his uh his VOD, see what it's all about. Switch back. Okay. This looks pretty old. Characters can equip items they have in their inventory. Yeah, what do they have? Uh, Charlie can use his tie clip to open locked boxes. Oh, it's one of those. What's uh, that? Just some old coin. Oval. Can be used to unlock dioramas. Find a penny. Get up. Cool. We got our first oval. Look, sorry I give you a hard time now and again, but I really couldn't make these shows without you. That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? The Lonnet Entertainment car. But you're the one who keeps the engine going. It's not how cars work. Jesus, you try and give someone a compliment. Thanks, Charlie. I get it. Looks like we're going to have to go in through the window. Breaking and entering. How are you not in jail? <laughs> and he does this so casually, right? Like he like this is something he does every day. He's picking locks, he's sneaking in through windows and stuff. Oh shh. Somebody's home. Christ, what the hell is that? It's probably an animal. Hide. Oh god. L2. It won't be spotted when hiding dog I heard like nice to meet you too heard like claws scraping what was that animal in until dawn like a badger or something <laughs> jumped out of the uh the cabinet or whatever scared the shit out of everybody who plays it mm -hmm. the 
Just Always need some fresh sheets, some nice drapes. And six gallons of sanitizer. Okay. Creepy abandoned house. Yo, back up. Okay. Um, well, why are we going back down? Hello? Charlie, I'm getting an uneasy feeling about this. Oh, just Somebody now? Somebody has a taxidermy hobby. Relax. <laughs> Some hobby. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, man, look at those squirrels. Doing the spread eagle. What in God's name is this? It's a crow? Ah! It moved. What? The thing. It moved. Put that down. God damn it. Ah! Can we move on, Charlie? Let's go. Oh, we're gonna climb up. What is it, an attic or is it to the roof? Oh, we're up in the. It's gonna oh. Be okay. It's all gonna be okay. Oh, this is where we were trying to get to in the first place, huh? Look at this. The lighthouse. It's perfect. Foghorn. Come on, get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake until the island comes into shot. Then zoom into that lighthouse. Look, there's all right. Come on, we better get back. So this is not the lighthouse. But is this where the foghorn is? Is that him? I don't know. We just had the one call. Uh, how did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, actually, I didn't ask. That's weird. Let's just play nice, okay? You probably should have done more Hello. research, Charlie. Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Dumet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. Mark. Erin. Jamie. Ladies. And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? Again, I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Of course. Uh-huh. What's this? The crew met Grantham Dumet. Okay. Was it your great uncle you said that um, let's wouldn't be much get of a game if they didn't? Going. I'll explain everything later. Sure. Of course. I think. I'm sorry if my scare to the jump scare scared you, so please. <laughs> uh. We should do a scream counter for one of these one of these times. Let's get up to the hotel. Uh, please, let's stay close. Stick together. Is it dangerous here? No, of course not. No, of course not. Because you don't seem sure. It's perfectly safe, but we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt. So please, take care. Looks like things are buttoned up tight around here. God. Whoa. Uh, this way. Don't worry about your bags. I'll no make textures. sure they're gone.
Not dressed for a hike. Try not to cough up a lung, Charlie. Who am I playing as? This lady? She seems like a bitch. I'm not exactly dressed for a hike, Mr. Dumet. Let's see her traits. She's ambitious, bold, erudite, and anxious. What is erudite? That's the only one I don't know. She could be insecure or defensive if we if we make certain choices. I don't see anything about being a bitch, but I mean, she said it herself. It's just a short walk in her little intro walk. video. You're right. He takes his security very seriously. I wonder what he's afraid will get in. Maybe you should be asking what he's trying not to let out. Jamie. Just saying. You watch too many horror movies. He values his privacy. We've known that right from the start. We've known that for about two hours. Just go. Mark, get your camera. I want to grab a quick intro from here. I need some shots leading up to the house. Don't need the whole journey. Kate, talking to camera, then I'll direct you from there, okay? No photos. No recording of me at all. Is that clear? I'm a very private person. Don't worry, Mr. Dumet. Discretion is Lonnie Entertainment's motto. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. The light is good. I'm ready to go, Aaron. It sounds clear. Oh, okay, so let's she's go the for sound a girl. Okay. Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Stop trying to make me like you. No. <laughs> and action. I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine artifacts from H.H. H. Holmes' reign of terror. I'm heading to the house right now. Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house and start to walk. Okay, that's enough. And cut. We really do need to get going. I thought you didn't want to be Anything in the you footage. Say, you just mess. walked right in it. This way. <laughs> You'll steal some more shots, right? Obviously. Sure, he's just a you know janitor. Mr. is being really restrictive. I noticed. I want you to go look around without him knowing. Matt is entitled to his privacy. He's cagey. I want to know what he's trying to hide. What do you want to do? What you did that time with those cops in Glendale. Seriously? It's <laughs> like, oh shit, all right. You go again? We should get her up to the hotel. <laughs> oh my god, I can barely move it. Jamie, stay with her. Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up? In Glendale? Oh, right. Okay. We'll find some ice and a bandage and come back. You have that at the hotel? Yes, sure. Then let's go. What is going on? Come on. I'll clue you in later. Oh, was she not there around uh, when they did the end deal yeah, yeah. thing? What's Charlie want? A better lay of the land. And we're the scouts because I'm charming and you can hotwire your way past security. Come on. Okay. I kind of I'm kind of enjoying Kate's bitchy sassiness. <laughs> She's got a lot of like swag. So, erudite is, um, it means knowledgeable. Okay. Hey, Rum, what's up? She's spunky. She's got spunk, yeah. Look at them shades. She's like, I'm cool and I know it. Can I ask you something and get a straight answer? You know, you know, you making a smart ass reply or taking a shot at me. Impossible. That works both ways. Fine. Look, tell me the truth. Is there any saving this show? Maybe. If there's some sort of magical holy grail of footage or information to be had here. You think that's likely? No. At best, we'll get some nice B-roll. That's not gonna save our asses. A shoe. 
secret found. A stiletto shoe missing a heel. Our first, no, our second secret. What's this one? Huh? What's this one? Oh, that is our, that is the only one. Okay. I see. Our first and only. Ta-da! Oh, it's another one of these ombles. I have two. Keep out private property. Fascinating. All right, well, let's just ignore that completely. It's a bit of a scramble. Like this is gonna be i don't know i feel like this is gonna be well i liked the cast of people a lot from little hope um but this might be my favorite cast of all of them might end up being but we'll see we haven't really gotten to know too many of the characters too well yet but that doesn't bode well for me because i'm probably gonna get some of them killed but i'll try not to of course i'll try not to get you guys killed but they seem... They seem cool so far. Uh, he doesn't uh. want to dress for a trek. exploring this these like outdoor areas here try not to fall and die okay i want to see mark cry i'm trying to concern i'm trying not to fall really? and die perfect my balance in video games is a lot better than my balance in real life and that is saying something. <laughs> well, we don't have a lighter or anything. Oh, we can inspect this. Oh, a train. Wonder where this goes. It's straight up and down the hill. Yeah. Well, is it a train? What's on the other end? A trolley? A... It's not a minecart. What is that? I guess it's a train. A tram? What's the difference between a train, a tram, and a trolley? Are they all the same thing but different titles? Different names? Hmm. I wonder what she looks like without those stupid ass looking shades on though. I think we're gonna find out. <laughs> that sign can't stop me because I can't read. <laughs> Trolley has cables and train just has rails. Uh, it's probably a funicular slash inclined railway. railway. Those shades are cool. Do you have a pair just like it, Minerva? Do you live out here on this island? Shh. Get down. With your family? My wife is... She died. Oh, shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Come on. We're about there. They didn't see us. <sighs> Let's go. This is ridiculous. There's nothing out here. That was close. All 
right, we're somewhere. Ooh, man, there's there's a lot going on here. Let's see what we got. So you guys think it's uh like is it proper or fashionable to wear denim like two shades of denim like she's got going on? Isn't that like a, a fashion crime there? or something? Because when I did it, when I tried to do it, Husbando was like, um, you can't wear that. Well, he didn't say you can't wear that, but he was like, <laughs> basically like that is not, that's not, I don't know, you know, you're not supposed to do that. You really don't like her outfit, Clam? Nowadays, there's no fashion rules? See, that's what I like. Don't tell me Maybe the this rules. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We got dead animals. If I can... There we go. Oh. Uh, Jesus! Ah! Oh. Is it a... What is it? His tail is very thick. Is it a squirrel? Aren't squirrels' tails really thin underneath all that fur? Hmm. I heard you were looking for a new place. Not sure I can afford the rent on this one. Wonderful natural light, though. Mediterranean cruise. Oh, I thought it said cuisine and I got kind of excited. Looks like Dumet has a family. Oh, look at that. We found a vacation photo, a secret. Let's see what other info we can glean from this here. A photograph with Dumet of Dumet with a woman and child. Bird spotting. Ooh. Oh, nice black nail polish. An in-depth guide to the birds that live and migrate to the British Isles. Easily identify birds with color photographs. Discover where you can find each species and learn about their unique personalities from expert bird watchers. Once you find some feathered friends, you can make your own observations using the handy notes section provided. Be sure to look for our other publication publications, looking. including It's a Bird's World, Following the World's Most Sought After Birds, A Guide to Traveling the UK and Beyond in Search of the Great Birds of the World. Hmm. British Isles, but we are not in the British Isles. We're in America, right? In the US, I guess I should say. What is this? Uh-oh. Premonition. Turned. Turned? So we have a diagram of a heart. Turned. A zomb- Are there zombies? What do you mean turned? Okay. Vampires? We did vampires in the last game, though, so it can't be that, right? We've already done vampires. Maybe because she's turning the chair? Maybe, because, but it sounds like, like the girl turned into something. Maybe werewolves. We haven't done werewolves yet, have we? There aren't really many games about werewolves are there I don't think I've ever played one or heard about one what about over there who 
who's watching us or what? The werewolves? If I wanted to go on nature hikes, I wouldn't have moved to the city. This shit is not in my job description. You know, I would love to go explore a place like this if I wasn't like if if I wasn't um trespassing. You know, like if it were a lot less creepy. Oh, got another oval. Got three. Dark, Star Dark Stalkers has John Talbane. Oh, yeah. That's true. <laughs> Order 1886 was about werewolves. Could be wrong though. You never played it. Hmm. What about over there? This reminds me of shit summer camps. Tree. Oh boy, we're double trespassing. Trespassception. Danger high voltage. Keep out. Keep out. Well, you know what that means to Kate. Miss Kate over here. Okay. If I can get the car moving and stop it here, we'll be able to get across. Oh man, we going, going. Oh, this is where we need to go when we get the car over here. You see the control panel? It's trashed. I don't even think there's power. All right, so I see a little diagram here. Fuse box instructions. Um, but it's uh, can I I can't do anything though. Do we have to plug something in? Let's follow the cables here. Okay, so maybe there's another way to get in here. No. Okay, over where? Oh, there's a ladder! <laughs> Bingo! I can get down. Can I get up? Another obol. There must be something around here. The wolf among us, you're right, did have a werewolf. All right. Maybe we can get this thing working.
And by we, you mean me, right? Because you're literally just standing there? Okay, thanks for the help. Jamie, can you fix this? Oh, we're switching characters. Equip the multimeter. Jamie can use the multimeter to fix fuse boxes. The wiring here is ancient. Follow the arrows and don't go out of sequence. Unless you want to trip the whole system, you're welcome in advance. Okay, whoops. All right, let's start here. 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 Um, here. Multi pass. Well, well, we weren't playing as Jamie for long enough. I was gonna check out her traits, but we'll have to do that next time. gonna get in thing in that thing and write it up but i guess we were just What's going across here? it hear that oh there's the guy in the yellow trench coat hide Freaking glasses in that beanie. <laughs> I'm beginning to think we should not have come here. these are warning hazardous substance oh wonder if it's that gas or a gas mimicking the one that mr holmes used What's this? St oh, the stiletto heel. Oh, oh, oh. A heel from a stiletto shoe. A woman got into difficulty on the island and broke her heel. The heel matches the stiletto shoe that was found. So somebody was running. And her heel broke, and she made it pretty far with the that broken, uh, broken heel. Before she was either captured or, um, maybe she just said "fuck it" to the shoes and chucked them out. Sometimes you just gotta run barefoot, you know. I guess I just needed to rest it for a minute. I think I'm okay. We found a shortcut up the hill. I really need you to stay where I say. You got it, Mr. Dumet. We're all here now. Let's head on. Everyone stay under the watchful eye of Mr. Dumet, please. Kate. What do you think? A summer camp from hell. 
Whatever. We're gonna find out what's up his sleeve before too long. Don't worry about that. Don't talk. Don't whisper like when he's so close though. Coming or what? Uh huh. You afraid of heights? Maybe. Yes. Oh shit! We're all gonna die! Just go. <laughs> oh my god, relax, Mark. That's not nice. Ooh, it is scary. pretty high. Wow. You good? Oh man. Want a piggyback ride? You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Eyes forward. Don't look down. I got it. It's fine. Is it though? I shouldn't have looked. It, it's just water down there. You can swim. Besides, the bridge looks dependable. Ish. Stop on. jumping on the bridge, I'll guys. Help. That's it. Look, it's fine. I'm not looking. <laughs> Don't look down. Yeah. <laughs> See? Not so bad. <sighs> Poor guy. Thank you. You always knew how to get me through the shit, didn't you? We should catch up to Mr. Dumet. Where is everyone? Apologies, uh, they're all city folk. Come on, let's go. We're losing the day, people. This place is magnificent. Yeah. Very impressive. Maybe this won't be a waste of a weekend. Hello. Wonder who you are. That's the girl from the picture, doing? right? I I saw a little girl. Up there. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's your one fan. And now she's lost forever. You are such a dick. Yeah, she kind of is. Um, this Jamie girl. And look, they do not have a very good relationship. Uh, but she does have a good relationship with Aaron, which we haven't really heard much from Aaron yet. Um, let's see bitter rivals Jamie teased Kate about her fame when talking about the girl they saw Katie saw a girl in the window of the hotel 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 everything in here is fragile please be careful Whoa. Look at this. It's amazing. This is intense. Would you all mind signing in at the desk, please? Oh, boy. Uh, this isn't everything. I'm sure the rest is almost here. I I'll make sure it gets to your rooms. Kate's makeup case is slowing it down. Erin, cigarettes. Blue backpack. Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. At eight. <gasps> Mr. Dumas, I cannot say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. 
I told you all this was a good plan, didn't I? Ha! <laughs> I told you. Zero one seven eight. I'll write it down. And then if I need it, I'll probably forget that I've written it down. Oh, there you are. Busy, busy, busy. You've been out in a bad old day. I have to sit here worrying. Gone all day and not a word from you. So there's at least four people here. There's Dumet, there's the person in the um the yellow raincoat or whatever. The girl and an old lady? <laughs> 